everybody. I pray that this message finds you well and that you're smiling. I'm feeling especially good and I'm happy to be here with you once again. So today, I wanted to talk about when I graduated from high school. That was an exceptionally uh, transformative day. How many of you remember the day that you graduated from high school? What was that experience like? For me, I graduated from Hudson High School in Hudson, New York in June of 1980. I was an honor student who, uh, on, in my senior year of high school, I would go to high school in the mornings, and then in the afternoon, I was a student at uh, the community college, the local community college, and I was on a fast track with the intention of graduating from high school and entering my sophomore year of college. Um, the adults in my life um, assured me that they were doing everything possible to assist me in getting into college and unfortunately um, I put all my eggs in one basket and as a result my plans fell through and I never ended up going to college. However, I digress. On the day that I graduated from high school, many of my uh, relatives joined uh, me in Hudson, New York for this auspicious, fantastic day. And I didn't know if my mother was going to come or not. And no one else did either. So early in the morning when my family members came, my cousin, my uncle, my dad, my, um, my I don't know, my cousins, more cousins, and aunts and uncles, um, everybody was happy and the spirits were high, smiles were wide. And I left to go to the high school to prepare. And I remember walking down the aisle, you know, you got to march down the aisle to that music, usually in, in two columns, right? And then you, you split off and go up the, to the stage to go to your chairs and sit down. And as I was marching down the aisle, I saw my family and I turned to look at them and I noticed that their faces had lost some of that spark. Well, I'm marching down the aisle, so I didn't have a lot of time to really contemplate what felt a little off. And as I got down to the bottom where we split off, uh, I heard a voice say my name. Now we all know our mother's voices, don't we? And when my mother said my name, I don't know how long it had been since I had seen her, but we didn't have a good relationship at that time. And it was like the screeching of tires and someone scraping their nails down a chalkboard. Time stopped for me. And from that point forward, I don't remember very much. I just remember that uh, I mechanically kept walking to the stage. I sat in my place and I used all of my willpower to remain calm on the outside while there was a carnival going on inside of my stomach. I don't remember accepting my diploma. <laughs> I don't remember anything. The next uh, moment that I do actually remember is getting to the locker room to take off my cap and gown and one of my good friends, Connie Winston, asking me what was wrong. And I remember taking a deep breath and feeling like I was gonna faint. And just as I was about to crumple, strong arms caught me. And it was my beloved cousin Joyce, who was there, who witnessed everything, and who knew she had to get to me as soon as possible. So one thing is I cannot say that my mother was not at my graduation. Um, looking back on it, I'm grateful that she made it. It was an important day for her as well. Um, I wish that it could have transpired differently <laughs> but as always when I look back my life is like a soap opera so what was your graduation day like hit that like button subscribe and uh, from my heart to yours see you next time ciao